how to create responsive UI in Flutter. And we'll be using this package here. Before we begin, let's take a look at the application that we are building. Currently, the app is running on two different devices with different screen sizes. Although the UI looks good on the smaller screen size, it doesn't look so well on the bigger screen size. Therefore, to fix this, we'll be using the Flutter Screen Util package. So we'll begin by adding the Screen Util in Neat widgets to the main app widget. Next, we'll add the Design Size property. This is the design size that can be gotten from your design draft. Therefore, we'll add a size and set the width to be 375 and the height to be 812. Next, we'll set the Mean Text Adapt property to True. This will set the text in the application to adapt to the minimum height or width of the device currently in use. Next, let's set the split screen mode to true. This would enable support for split screens. Next, we'll define the builder callback to which we will set the material app and in it, we'll define our theme and also return the child property from the callback here. Finally, we'll set the child property to which I have set the create account page. This can also be your home page. Now, let's make modifications to our theme data, which will enable the application adapt to the current screen size in use. Therefore, we'll use the .r extension from the package, which will set the title text style for the app bar to use the minimum between the height and the width of the device size. We will also do the same for the height and the letter spacing properties of the title textile. Now, after I hot restart, we can see that the title of the app bar on the bigger screen size is now adapted to the bigger screen size. Now, let's make modifications to our button themes. Now, let's start by adding the .r extension for the fixed size property, and we'll also do the same for the padding property, the border radius, and the textile property of the font size. And after a hot restart, we can also see that the button on the larger screen has adapted to its size. Finally, let's do the same for the input decoration theme. Therefore, we'll also add the .r extension for the content padding, the same thing for the border width, then the same thing for the border radius. For the text theme, we'll add the .sp extension for the font size factor. Now, after a hot restart, we can see that the changes have applied to our bigger screen. Now that we are done adding the modifications to our theme data, we can also add modifications to the individual components in our application. Therefore, we'll begin by modifying our text form field widget. Therefore, we'll add the .r extension from the package to our font size for our label. We'll also do the same for the height. And for the spaces, we'll add 8 vertical space which is also an extension from the package for adding vertical spaces to a column. And with that saved, we can see that we have added a sized box widget of height 8 between the label and the text box for each of our text box widgets. Moving on, we'll also have to make modifications to our form widget. Therefore, we'll change the size box of height 24 to use the API from the Flutter Screen Util package. And to this, we'll replace it with the 24.vertical space. And with that saved, we can see that the changes have applied to our larger screen. Once you're done making modifications to your Flutter application using the Flutter Screen Util package, you can see that the changes have applied and that your application will look better even on bigger screens.